SIA FlexiTangs requires a 20-foot dry freight container that is free from stains and previous cargo odors. Ensure that the container is 5 years of age or less. Check CSC plate for more information of your container. Every SIA FlexiTang comes with 5 steel bars, bulkhead cardboard, door packer and corrugated paper along with several accessories in a kit as shown in this video. All personnel are required to wear shoe caps on prior to cleaning. Inspect the floor for any rough edges or sharp objects. Clean the container floor to ensure that it is clean and dry. Install the 1.3 meter high corrugated paper securely to the wall with heavy duty tape at every fourth post of the walls as seen in the video. Place two corrugated papers overlapped with each other and secure it with a good amount of tape to ensure that the flexi tank is protected. Begin by placing the SIA's flexi tank at the right hand corner of the container floor. Carefully unfold so it is evenly placed inside the container. Check the flexi tank bag for any scuffs, holes, or any other signs of damage. If so, please replace immediately. Ensure that the valve is situated on the right hand side towards the container door. Assemble the bulkhead cardboard by placing five steel bars at the floor of the container door in between the lashings. The steel bars are installed with paper tubular spaces of the following lengths shown. Cut the spaces according to the suggested length and place within the recess at the container door for support. To secure the bulkhead, pierce the bulkhead from above and below the bar at four equally length positions and secure it with cable ties as seen in this video. From behind the cardboard bulkhead, attach the valve retention system or VRS to the cardboard bulkhead until the valve is seen through the hole. Pierce two holes through the VRS frame and secure it with cable ties on either side. Once completed, place the door packer inside the edge of the left-hand door. Seal the left door. With a bullet seal, secure the left door and apply warning tag on the right door. Apply the warning label at the left door and the contents form on the right side of the bulkhead as seen in this video. Secure the right door. Merge the loading line of any excess air prior to connection to ensure that air is not blown into the flexi tank ahead of the product. Connect the loading hose with a female cam lock connected to the male adapter of the flexi tank valve and lock it in place by pulling the latch upwards. Secure the connection from the latch with a cable tie. To open the valve, 
Pull the pin on the cam lock and rotate the lever anti-clockwise towards you. Push the pin in place to secure it. Start loading slowly. Initial maximum discharging rate is 200 liters per minute. Increase the rate consistently. This can be done after 3000 liters. Minimum load is until 95% of flexi tank capacity. When the loading has completed, close and drain the loading hose. Disconnect hose from the flexi tank valve by unfastening the latch downwards to unlock the male cam lock. Pull the pin and turn the lever clockwise to close the valve on the bag. Push the pin inward to lock. Close the valve with dust cap. Last but not least, close the container door and seal container it with a container seal. Prior to discharging, ensure that the left door is closed and sealed at all times. Connect the loading hose with a female cam lock connected to the male adapter of the flexi tank valve and lock it in place by pulling the latch upwards. Secure the connection from the latch with a cable tie. Ensure the pipeline is suspended or supported to avoid adding stress on the valve or the VRS while loading or discharging. To open the valve, pull the pin on the cam lock and rotate the lever anti-clockwise towards you. Push the pin in place to secure it. Begin discharging. After discharging has been completed, switch off the pump and close all valves, including the flexi tank valve. When the discharge has been completed, dismantle and remove the flexi tank and all its accessories from the container. Ensure that the container is clean upon returning the empty container to depot. Close the container door.